Hello Aries and welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is just a quick easy reading for you just to see what's on the cards for you for the third week of June 2020. So before we delve into the tarot cards Aries we need to consult the oracle. So remember this is just a general reading just to see what's on the cards for Aries for the third week of June 2020. So let's see what message the Oracle has for Aries for the third week of June 2020. What messages are there for Aries for the third week of June 2020? What messages are there for Aries for the third week of June 2020? Just pull two cards to give an overarching feeling of the reading. Let's go with that one. Let's see what we have. Oh new experiences and possibilities that's nice all very positive and make a decision make a decision so you have a decision to make aries and that's possibly a decision that could lead you to new experiences and possibilities let's see what the rest of the spread says Here we are, let's see what's on the cards for Aries for the third week of June 2020. What's on the cards for Aries for the third week of June 2020? on the cards for Aries for the third week of June 2020. Let's see how the cards split. That's very uneven. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I'll just take the middle one. I only need six cards. I suppose I've got the deck upside down again. Right, you've got the Eight of Cups moving on. And that not mean literally walking out the door, but it could be moving on from something in a metaphorical sense of moving on, yeah? Moving on from past hurts, from past anguish. So that's positive. The Moon. Temperance. That's a nice one as well. The Chariot. And the fool. Oh, there is there is like lots of moving on and possibilities um, in in the cards. And you've got the Queen of Swords, right? Yeah, yeah. I think you're moving on. I think Aries. For many of you, you're finally going to be able to put behind you past hurts. Um, very often nowadays we see the three of swords as past heartache, past betrayal. But, you know, the swords is about mental anguish rather than emotional anguish. So I'm getting a sense of being able to put to bed and move on from past anguish. From problems that have really weighed you down and broke your heart to some extent. You're able to move on from that by um, getting clarity, getting your head above the clouds, owning a truth for many of you. 
The Queen of Swords is about mastering your intellect, using your past knowledge and your past experiences to become wiser. She is a queen that has suffered and but from that suffering she has become wise and um, stronger. So for many of you it often comes from a decision to put things behind you, to move on. Is about decision making. You decide you've had enough of this energy and you want to move on. So here you have the Eight of Cups showing moving on. <laughs> Moving on from a situation that doesn't fulfill you, that no longer serves you. It's like shedding an old skin that you've worn for too long and moving on towards new possibilities. And you've got the Temperance card. It's a lovely energy. It's about balance and harmony. And um, well, tempering really, tempering your emotions. Um, it's about making something out of nothing in this particular reading. That's what I'm getting a sense of. You know, you're done with this. You take that experience that heartache from the past and you make it into wisdom, knowledge, giving you the confidence to move on. There's a lot of hope in the temperance card today, I'm getting a sense. Um, just, you know, like a sense of tranquility and peace coming into you through a decision made. And then that frees you up and gives you the motivation and the strength to move on to, to set your sights on other goals, on higher goals and move towards them. And here again it's like taking control, taking charge, getting that motivation and driving forward with it. Spreading your wings. And, you know, as you move forward, you gain a sense of confidence and um, control. A sense that you, you're actually driving things now. You're moving things forward. And as you move things forward, you're going to need to trust in your intuition because with the full card, you're you'll be taking a leap of faith. But um, moving from a time where you felt things were unclear and uncertain, where you couldn't see a future way out of things, where you were stuck in almost a fearful state of uncertainty. But with a leap of faith, having made a decision, you take a leap of faith and you drive things forward in a positive and trusting manner. Trusting in the universe, trusting that it'll all work out. Trusting that, you know, luck will be on your side for a change. And as you go forward with that attitude, new experiences and possibilities open up for you because as your energy from within changes to more positive and adventurous so the universe gives that same energy back to you as opposed to being stuck in a sense of loss and lack so there you go Aries this is very positive this is you know it, it, it's lovely cards it's showing um, the potential to really move on from being stuck in a painful energy to an adventurous and um, 
new rebirthing almost into a, in, into an adventurous and vibrant energy so i hope that is um pleasing to you aries and if you did like your reading please do remember like share and subscribe and have a good week and god bless you